Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, I'm not sure when this one's going to be going up. Uh, as you probably noticed by now, if you're watching this as I'm uploading them instead of in the far future, my upload schedule for now is going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I can't get up there. But, um... I'm actually not going to be here this Friday. I'm recording this uh, Monday, October 15th. So, uh, I won't be here this Friday, which is when I was going to upload episode 5, which, uh, as you may have noticed, is this episode. So, uh, yeah. If you're watching this on Friday, I managed to get it off, so I don't know why I'm talking about this at all, actually, because it won't matter by the time you see this video. Um, but either way, I just thought maybe I'd point out that that's what my schedule for uploading is going to be, and if you aren't seeing this on Friday, then you're seeing it on Monday, so the next episode will be on Wednesday. Exciting stuff. Anyway, we're heading up Hoo Hoo Mountain to find Prince Peasley, since I'm assuming he's going to know something about... Fawful and Cacoletta. Alright. And we're also going to get some hoo-hoo blocks because we need the Hammerhead Brothers to make us hammers so we can get down the mountain. So basically, we're up here for a lot of reasons. Got a one-up mushroom. I think we're about to fight a mini-boss. Let us save our game. Okay. Alright. This gentleman. Huhuros. The ancient weapon of the Huhu civilization. Okay. Alright, we gotta get Huhu spirits. We're gonna switch to Mario, and we're gonna spin. Oh, f no! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for coughing. Wow. Oh. They weren't kidding about Let's Play Curse. Holy cow. When did I get so bad at this game? One. I will not fail the ancient Hoo Hoo civilization. Two. Three. Can I just jump across these? No. So I got a spin jump. Alright, I got the rhythm now. Yeah, I did it! Ah! Boss fight. Excuse me, I just had to change color real quick. Gee, I wonder which pillar he's hiding in. Ooh, and uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about this boss music before when we were fighting Tollstar, but... Um, I like this boss music. <laughs> it's not quite as catchy a dance number as, you know, the regular battle music is, but I like it. Yeah, this hoo hoo guy, this hoo hoo, like, blah, blah, what were they called? The hoo hooligans? Yeah. They're pretty advanced. They have, like, laser weapons and stuff. Oh, I'm doing this boss battle wrong. I just realized. Okay, what you're supposed to do is destroy the pillar he isn't in. And then, when you destroy the pillar he is in, he'll go over to this side, and he won't have a pillar to hide behind. That'll make him mad and he'll start shooting lasers at you that do a lot of damage. Holy crap. 
Okay, heal Mario. But now we have a chance to hit him. So we will do so. Ah, I missed the last hit. I was gonna do a sweep down here. And I can't do it. <laughs> I keep getting hit by the last one. There we go. Well, this will give us a chance to heal up at least. Alright, Luigi, heal thine self. Okay, now which one was he in? He's not in this one, so that's why we need a break. Now he's gonna get exposed and get mad, so he's gonna do his laser sweep attack, and I successfully dodged it! I can beat this game! Yeah, and after that, the boss is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is keep doing the same thing until you wear him down. I don't think he has any new tricks. Then again, I don't think he needs any. Holy crap, I sucked that attack. <laughs> Took that one right on the chin. Come on, you're a mini-boss. You shouldn't be this hardy. I should have been able to take you down by now. My guys are underleveled. Alright, well, while we got him kind of preoccupied, let's heal up. Oh yeah, we need to break the pillars first. He was in this one. So. There we go. I can do it. I don't know, maybe there's lag and I'm not noticing it. I mean, this is an HDTV, so I guess it's not impossible, but... Got him! Yes! Victory is mine! I'm sure Luigi leveled up. Alright, now let's supplement his attack power. Yeah, Couldn't get that bonus I got with Stash. Those crazy hoo hooligans. Them and their crazy machine nations. Machine nations. Yep. Alright, let's quickly acquire this hidden treasure. On our way to the summit. How much more of this area do we have left to go? I, didn't, I don't remember it being this big. Oh well. Let's save our game. What does this do? This is hit random things. Well, I'm sure we need that. Nope. Oh, I see now. It's like, well, where's the water? Well, we haven't gotten to it yet. We have to go up here. That's an awkward angle to jump at. Let's put Luigi in front and see what happens. 
Yep, Luigi just can't hold his water. I'm not even sure if that's offensive or not. Nope. We did it wrong. Continual failing. And I got no fight. Oh, hey, there's a new enemy in the back. Rex. Anybody play Super Mario World? Yeah, they work the same way. You hit them, and they get down in size. And that's good, because you need them to be lower in size when you hit them. Because otherwise that charge attack is pretty hard to avoid. Maybe I do need to level my characters up more. I mean, they aren't doing very much, like, damage. I would think these fights would go by a little faster. Ah, uh, the bird fell off! Don't fall off again. Don't fall off all again. Okay. I want to get that treasure real quick. But I can't, because I'm terrible at this game. Maybe this is what we're supposed to do to get in there, because that other thing felt kind of weird, like you weren't supposed to do it that way. Oh, I see. Okay, so put Mari up front, get him to drink the water. Now we walk around here. And hey presto, we can walk right up this ramp and spit into the statue's face. So yeah, these areas are very puzzle-heavy. I'm sure you probably already figured that out for yourself, but yeah, lots of puzzles to be solved in these dungeon areas. Which I like, incidentally. It's kind of like, you know, like a Zelda game or something, in a way. Uh, no. I don't know what happened there. Go that way. Yes. Successful. Yeah, just keep scaling the mountain. Oh, we do not time. Keep scaling the mountain. We'll get there eventually. Get the feeling this is what hey, this is where you go when you fail. Actually, so there's one up mushroom here. Well, you know what? I'll start grinding my characters when I start dying my characters. Whatever that means. Whoa! Almost overshot that. I guess I'll level up my characters should it become an issue, but I, I think that we haven't got there yet. Like, we're still doing okay. Ooh, wait, ooh, wait. No. Summit ahead. Uh, we're not quite tall enough to reach that. We aren't spinning at the correct height. Did it? Oh. Spin it to win it. Woo, stop. Woo, stop. Woo, stop. Woo. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. I'll get that chest on the way down. Come to think of it. Nope. I... Ah... Maybe we'll get the treasure now. I don't know. Yeah, and if one brother falls off the thing... Let me show you. No, I can't. Oh, of course, the one time I try to show what happens, I can't get it to go. Let's see. No, I can't get it to work. Well, either way, the brothers won't separate. Like, if one falls off a ledge, then you're kind of just stuck. I mean, there are ways to get them separate later on in the game, but we'll talk about those when we get there. And if you look, this is interesting, I think, if you look far off into the horizon, you can see a castle. I don't actually know which castle that is, though, because obviously there's the castle of Princess Peaches, and then there's the castle of the Bean Bean Kingdom. I'm not entirely sure which one that is. 
think we're almost at the summit now. Okay, so if the telescope is facing downwards, then that means upwards is where the Mushroom Kingdom is. That's actually Princess Peach's castle we saw on the horizon. Interesting. And we're at the summit now, so... It's all good. I am looking for a save album right now. Actually, let's see if we can use the telescope. Hey, we can! Neat! Yeah. You can basically just look around. There's all kinds of cool places you can go and stuff. There's that big ice thing over there. There's the, the castle. If you look down, you can see like part of a desert. There's the ocean. There's some kind of island. It's like maybe some kind of forest over that way. So yeah, you can see a lot of the Bean Bean Kingdom. And this will become relevant at a later point in the game. But for now, let's save. Well, we are here to find... who again? P... 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 Prince Peasley. P... P... Prince... P... P... Prince Peasley! Ho ho ho! I wonder if that's what he got called in elementary school. You know the prince is a notorious bedwetter. Um, yeah, so, Hoo Hoo Blocks and Prince Peasley. And wouldn't you know it, here's some Hoo Hoo Blocks, and here's some kind of pterosaur looking individual. Yeah, let's have a look at this guy. Fools! It's called a Hoo Hoo Block, indeed it is. Who the heck are you, though? He's a thief in my book. Well, I ain't scared of you, pterodactyl person. Aha! So you're hard to say, guy. Blublanadon, at last we meet. You've given me trouble and I don't even know you. Oh, maybe blah blah blah. Duh. Maybe that guy isn't such a bad guy after all. Followed him up here. Oh, I guess that's why they call him Blablanadon. I guess he's a bit of a chatterbox. <laughs> that's how it works with eggs. They hatch. Hey, a hoo-hoo block fell. There it goes, and there it lands. Well, that's one side quest down. Well, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but I think it's about time to fight a boss. That's right, but we're not going to fight him today. No, we're going to fight him next time. Thanks for watching.